muito barulho lá. Well, sorry guys, I was having trouble getting into class, probably computer things, not really sure. Anyways, we're talking about household vocabulary and to start off, I thought it would be fun to have you guys name or describe your perfect house. So is it big, is it small, in downtown or on the countryside? And give me lots of detail about the yard and the bedrooms and everything. And let's start with Vincenzo, all the way on the right. Tell us about your perfect dream house. I teach. <laughs> my perfect dream house. Yes, I'm, I'm so accustomed with my house that uh, I can't, I can't think of the, the house. <laughs> I, I think I, I would like to, to be in a house. Uh, near the beach, so near the beach, as yes, well as possible to to spot the uh, the the scent, scent, yes, mm -hmm. this the sea, the sea scent, so where it was possible to each morning to get out and and go to the sea. Have a bath <laughs> to 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 some 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 get burned <laughs> by the something like this. Apart from the house, yes, but I don't want to describe the house. But I'd like to I prefer to describe describe the city, the ability to to stay. To be uh, near the sea, yes, just this one. Then I can think of something else. The yeah, so house it's not. It would be no. Would be no of no importance to me. It could be a very simple house uh, uh, with a big window. That's that's where it's possible to see the sea. It's only. With it's no, it's it's, it's no, no importance what is it's inside. Only very simple, yes. Because I don't like I, I would have a lot of object in this house. No. Mm. So you're Be a simple man. Like. You just want big windows <laughs> and a lot of light. Very simple, yes. Yes, a lot of light inside. Yes, uh, uh, some books in order to read really shelf. Uh, you know, that to, see, uh, to be with to be with myself in the end of uh, paradise. <laughs> yes. oh, sounds amazing. Uh, yes, yeah. not so much. I can't think of what is inside this house. Yes, uh, inside this house. Yes, 
Thanks, Vincenzo. <laughs> All right, Rebecca, tell us what's your dream house? Describe the rooms, the yard, everything. Mm. Well, um, my room place, my favorite place uh, would be uh, in the city center, you know, in a small apartment, mm. Mm, two or, or just uh, three rooms, uh, that would be enough with a big living room uh, together, you know, unit with the, the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So in just one room, living room and kitchen. With the big, big uh, windows, you know, in order to get light, uh, I mean, uh, bright, uh, bright room, you know. I love uh, to live in a bright place. And well, just that uh, small one. I don't want a big, big uh, house. You know, All right. maybe that would be enough for me. Yes, one toy, whatever uh, bathroom. With, yeah, with one big bath. That is is really important. You know. I love baths. I love oh, them. Oh yes, I love it. <laughs> And so even good. more in winter, you know, it's really amazing. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes. The perfect so season for me. My lovely place, you know. I'm going to come live with you. Okay, good. I got invited. <laughs> All <fun>. right. <laughs> okay. what's your perfect house? Mm. I want a big one nearby ocean and sea. Made of um, a lot of glass, metal, and wood. A lot of white. Uh, so no modern white. sort of design. Yes, I can show you a picture. I just search for it. Well, uh, something like that. It's my dream house. So <laughs> I hope in few years Whoa. I can have it. <laughs> That's a crazy looking pool. Would you have a pool like that? Yes, I think it's just <laughs> my dream. It starts from my dream. Yes, wow. and uh, I saw a lot of films, like uh, new films. I don't know, The Gift, The Family Lift, something like that. But it was one floor house, but it's very similar. So, Gorgeous. Like that. Yes. <laughs> Gorgeous. All right. Gregor, how about you? What would your perfect house be like? Great, I'm on the time. Hi. Um, so, my perfect house will be located close to, um, located in the quiet neighborhood, I hope, um, close to the city. Um, it will consist from kitchen, bathroom, big bathroom, um, and some several spacious rooms uh, with the garden. Surrendered to the house will be surrendered by the trees. Not really specific uh, requirements. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about what about the yard? Would you need a yard? You don't care for yards? Yes, I need a yard. Uh, in yeah, yard would be nice to get to do something in a spare time. Front yard, backyard, or both? Uh. I would say backyard. Backyard, yeah. It's nice, quiet, private. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Gregor. Eduardo, how about you? What's your perfect house like? Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Uh, my perfect house uh, is located in front of the beach. Uh, it has a barbecue and swimming space and a uh, large garden and have uh, many mm. rooms for me receive friends and make a lot of parties parties oh parties yeah parties. so you'd you'd host parties at your place yes i like excellent i don't like to host parties but i like to attend parties <laughs> okay i invite you <laughs> awesome thanks eduardo <laughs> Edson, how about you? What would your perfect house be like? 
be a, like I mentioned, backyards, back with the ocean. Everyone and, loves the ocean um, in this class. <laughs> and uh, another backyard would be a, a place to play soccer. And a small yard for barbecues. And what else? Many, many rooms. One room for for movies, and another room for many other games, kind of games, and uh, a lot the of baths. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. like uh, the big, big bath, you know, to to spend a lot of hour, uh, many hours, showers, that that stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, but very well located, like in the ocean. It sounds nice. Sounds very nice and very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine. Good luck. Good luck achieving your house. Thank you. Ana Carolina, what's your perfect house like? Okay. Uh, since I'm going to dream, I I will dream. I I'd like a huge mansion by the ocean and a water is light from from the balcony from from the balcony in, in my wow. in my bedroom uh, to the pool, you know? Perfect. And, and then I yes. Uh, I'd like to have a sauna. A sauna. Uh, or or shade. With plenty of of trees, okay. Um, what else? A uh, a ground made of glass in the middle of the room to see the ocean underneath with lights, you know. Beautiful. Ah uh, yes, a uh, and a walking clothes. You're definitely a big dreamer. I like the slide idea. <laughs> yes. Uh, it would be similar to Tanya's picture, but bigger with the water slide. Wow. Awesome. And the orchid mm. behind. Thank you very much, Ana Carolina. Ken, what would your perfect house be like? Yes, uh, it's a bit close to the ocean. And. I like uh, kind of uh, sunshine. Uh, how can I say? Uh, windows are should be open, kind of should be yeah, wide window to get get into the sunshine to the room, and it should be cozy little house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sounds nice. All right. And new student Goncalo. How do I Goncalo. say your name? Gonzalo. Oh, yeah. interesting. So, Brazilian? Portugal? Portuguese. Portuguese, ah, yeah. Okay. Like, Very cool. Well, welcome to class. Good to meet thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Can you describe us what your perfect dream house would be like? Yeah, I heard that um, we're dreaming here. So. Yes, dreaming big. <laughs> dreaming big. So, we will be like uh, on the top of a hill um, with, like, with an amazing view over the city. And like you know, one of those pools. There's like a, quote unquote a cascade pool. That is like uh, the water of the pool like falling. Yeah, and the zero edge where it looks like exactly, I don't know, it looks exactly, like a dream. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And like a big bag, backyard for my five dogs. And uh, and like a, a club box. inside, probably. A club. Yeah. Like a inside. bar kind of club. Yeah. Do you have you watched the? Um, do you know how, how it's like a 50 cents house? Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. One of those. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Perfect. And um, uh, I don't know. What else? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I just it for now. Nice. It's a pretty good cool. dream. Thanks. I'll describe my... You guys got me imagining what my perfect house would be like. And I struggle... I struggle thinking whether I would like it to be in the city center or if I would like it to be sort of on the outskirts of the city because I would really like to be close to at least a tree. Like, a tree would be nice. Maybe trees, if possible. 
but at least just one tree would be good to have in the front or backyard. Definitely I want some baths because, or, or you know, like a nice bath, not like the tiny kind of gross one, but like a really big nice one. And yeah, I kind of feel like city center would be perfect because it's got good access to everything. Even though I know sometimes that gets tiresome, um, it's a tough call. It's a tough call there. If I was not in the city center, I would probably like a really big backyard with like a porch or a gazebo or something so I could sit outside when the weather was nice. And yeah, I don't really care about beachfront property. I know it's it sounds beautiful, but it's very expensive and also I feel like I wouldn't, if I lived near the beach, I wouldn't go to the beach. It'd be one of those things where like you think you'd use it all the time and then you would not. I don't know. Okay, so let's get into our household vocabulary. I'm going to screen share the notes. You guys can also find these on our class page. Here we go. So we have a little bit more um, conversation to get through and then we're going to talk about some pictures. Describe a laundry room. I'll start on the right again with Vincenzo. What is a laundry room like? What goes inside a laundry room? Vincenzo, are you there? Um, Rebecca, are you there? Um, I, I was muted. Okay. I was, was muted. Got it. Yes. A Go ahead, Vincenzo. A laundry room. Yeah. Yes. A laundry room is, it's the entrance, I think, apartment or not. No. Is it, is it so? The laundry? No. Ah, laundry. No, no, no. Oh, they understand. Yes, yes. The room where you can... Uh, Iron, you know, your your dress is something like this, where you put your dress, uh, yeah. where you uh, where you can instruments in order to to iron or to make kind of works uh, for the for the house, something like this. Um, uh -huh. I can describe a big a uh, big uh, iron chair, chair, yes. Can I see a big armchair? An uh, armchair? Maybe. Uh, I don't know about an armchair. Yeah. An armchair is more for relaxing. <laughs> Maybe it would go in like the family room or the living room. Yeah. You mean what kind of chair? What would you use this chair no. for? No, no. Uh, where I can put your this something in order to put your dress uh, well I don't know because I, I had a, a laundry room teacher uh -huh. it's running for an apartment this is this very big I think you know but yeah. in uh, it's very really difficult to find an apartment room I think uh, yeah it depends I usually houses will have this USA, sometimes apartments will have it Yes, they are big apartments. Big, uh, yeah. for example, we yeah, we generally uh, uh, can I say in room something to put our uh, in the entrance of the apartments and or or in the bedroom. Uh, but mm, in order to make some works about the the, the, the let me say mm -hmm. about the family or the house, mm -hmm. use the kitchen. Also, the kitchen when the kitchen is very uh, big, the kitchen is very big. Mm -hmm. uh, when uh, I <laughs> this crazy, uh, mm, a laundry room. <laughs> All right, thanks, Vincenzo. Let's continue the description of a laundry yeah. room with Rebecca. Rebecca, what else does a laundry room have inside of it, and where might you find it in a house? Well, um, uh, it usually uh, is usually 
you know, in, uh, on the ground floor, you know. Uh-huh. Um, well, and uh, you ask you are asking me the things we can find it in. Yeah. Yeah. So we can, of course, we can find the washing machine, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. um, some products to wash the clothes, you know. Like what? Detergent is the name. Uh huh. Yeah. And some bleach and some, you know, and what's the name for the one who is liquid uh, and. Fabric it's softener? Uh, it's to, you know, for um, the clothes to get a, a, a good sm smell. Fabric softener. Yeah, that. And, uh, well, we can uh, find a basket, you know, to put the, the laundry before mm -hmm. being wa uh, wash it. And then, uh, um, Ironing, you iron, 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 you know, iron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and iron, definitely. Iron. And the table for ironing, how is the name? An ironing board. Ah, uh, yes, right. Iron board, and then what else? Maybe a sink, you know. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. beside the beside the the washing machine. And then a dry machine also. A dryer, yeah, sometimes. If you're lucky, yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah. So that uh, those things uh, uh, would be easy to find it in a, in a laundry room. And mm. the place, mm. what well, I say, sometimes is in the house and sometimes it could be uh, near the house. I mean, in other um, building, a small mm. one, near the garage. For instance, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, like mm. that. yeah, or in the garden, yeah, a specific room for that near the gym. It depends on the house. If the house is big, you know, mm -hmm. there's a specific place for for laundry. Yep, awesome. All right, did we miss anything? Is there yeah. any? Does anyone else in class think there's something else that goes in a laundry room or near a laundry room or is important to mention right now before we move on? Um, in, uh, sometimes uh, the laundry room is located in the block of apartments in the basement. Um, if we don't have a dryer, sometimes in my case I saw the ropes that are just coming from one side to the other and you can just cl put clothes on them. Yeah, a clothing line, definitely. Yeah. Supposed to be better for your clothes, huh? Yeah. All right. Anything else, guys, that we missed? Wardrobe. What did you say? Wardrobe? Yes, wardrobe. I think it could be, you know, I would know. Maybe a wardrobe. I would say wardrobe. frequently you'll see um, hangers and some kind of, I don't know if I would call it a wardrobe, because usually it's not behind doors. A wardrobe usually has doors. Mm -hmm. It might have that, or it might just have like a pole you can hang things from or some cabinets where you can stick your detergent mm, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, cabinets for sure. That's yes, important. Yes, 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 middle cabinets. Yes. Anything uh, else? Could be also could be. I have uh, one idea. idea. Go ahead. What were you gonna say? In, in Brazil, in this space, we uh, wash and iron clothes. Is yeah. Normally, is uh, in Brazil is close to the 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 kitchen. Oh, interesting. Well, why do they put it close to the kitchen? Yes, yeah, it's common in Brazil. Oh, uh, cool. Log room stay located uh, close the the kitchen. Awesome. All right. Anything else we missed before we move on? It is would be. It would be possible that, that there is a, a wash. Well, actually, dishwasher, no, something like this. So you say a dishwasher? <laughs> dish <water. laughs> yeah, Not in the laundry room, dishwasher. but could so be in the kitchen. No, if it is near the, the kitchen. Ah, uh, yeah. If it is near the kitchen, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, could, could be, All right. there is a dishwasher. Thanks, yeah. guys. 
Um, Ksenia, let's go on to the next one. Do you have any idea what the difference is between a family room and a living room? Or could you describe them for us, either one? Mm, I think living room, it's one of the important rooms in the whole house. It's uh, also, uh, usually it's very big room, it's the biggest room in the house. And uh, it means for the guests, maybe some parties. Uh, and family room is just, I think, smaller. It's maybe in the back of the house. I think actually it has a door to their yard, but I'm not sure. And uh, I think the living room is more beautiful with some vases, uh, de decor, and something mm -hmm. like that, be be beautiful furniture. But the family room, it's maybe more cozy with a lot of uh, cozy armchair, comfortable sofas to lie down with your family and watch TV or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, you definitely hit on one of the main differences, which is formality. The living room is slightly more formal, and the family room is a little more casual, kind of everyday stuff. Definitely. Gregor, are there any other differences that you'd like to mention or tell us what else you can find inside these family rooms and living rooms? What are they used for? Uh, probably in the living room you will find sofa, uh, two armchairs, mm -hmm. usually, uh, the TV set, um, the table because you can make a tea for your guests. Um, in the living room, we'll put up, I'm not sure we can because uh, we probably find a sofa, the answers. Uh, if but if it is a purpose like a family meeting, um, it could be a TV set. I'm not sure. Yeah, definitely. The TV set would probably be in the family room more than the living room, like you said, because it's a little more everyday and casual. Yes. Awesome. Kind of living, kind of living. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Anything else that we missed about family rooms and living rooms? All right. Um, then the next one is a... Just, huh? No. Describe a crib or bath said, you? Um, I was asking about any other details bathroom. of the family room or living room, Vincenzo. But... Uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one, a crib or bassinet. Those are two very similar things with one small difference. Does anyone know the difference here? Does anyone know the difference between a crib or a bassinet or want to describe no, one? No, I don't know the, the difference. So what's a crib, Gonzalo? Do you know what a crib is? The cribs are... Basically, where babies sleep. Yeah. <laughs> so, what does it look like? Um, what does it look like? Mm -hmm. It looks like a small, um, a small uh, cage. Yeah, it kind of does, right? Yeah, it does. It does. That's a funny way to put it, but you're right. And what is the main activity done in the crib? Um, sleeping. I yeah, guess. sleeping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's a good description of a crib. No one knows what a bassinet is. Anybody? It's for infants only. Yeah. And what does it look like? It's small, comfortable area with a lot of pillow blankets. Mhm. Mm Definitely. <laughs> And the structure is a little bit different. Like we said, a crib is a little bit more like a little jail cell or something. It's got those bars that are very typical and like, you know, high, a high wall of wood or something so that the child you're putting in there can't get out. But a bassinet is slightly different. It doesn't actually have those high sides because it's meant for an infant that's probably so young that they're not even like climbing or doing much they're kind of just sitting there so it's more like a basket just a big yeah. basket all right any other pointers about cribs and bassinets 
let's do the carport and garage bit then. Eduardo, what's the difference between a carport and a garage? I think carport is uh, uh, one space, open space, when you can put your car uh, under the, this space. And a, a garage is a closed space when you put your car. Yeah, garage is closed, carport is open. Do you have a carport or a garage? I have garage. Awesome, very nice. And what do you use it for? Sorry? Do you use it for anything other than just your car? Uh, no, only for my car because it's, I, I live in, uh, in a building, uh, in an apartment. Ah. In a garage for many cars. I see, got it. A lot of people will use them for storage as well, but if you've got other people using your garage, definitely can't do that. Thanks, Eduardo. All right, Edson, will you describe the first picture that you see here? What are we looking at in this picture? It's like a place for energy. Um, I don't know how I can say this in English, but you just turn on and turn off the, the energy of your house or your apartment. Uh-huh. Some place, some rooms, like, I don't know, living room or dinner or... So what has to happen for you to need it? Like, when would you go and find this thing? Uh, the location, let's see. You usually, for example, my house, usually back to the main door, like the living room, you know? Mm -hmm. Just just open the door and you, you see, in the back of the door, you see this, mm -hmm. this equipment there. To. Yep. Does anyone know what it's called? Uh, fuse. The fuse box. Sometimes it's called the fuse box. Does anyone else know? There's there's a, a couple terms for it. An electricity board or. Could be electrical board. Breaker. Power panel. Breaker, power panel maybe, but circuit breaker for sure could be a circuit breaker. It could go by any of these names, but it's definitely important if your power ever goes out, if there's ever like a big storm or something, definitely got to know where that is. Can Ele electrical power uh, box, it's okay, it's a good yeah. name for this. Uh, yeah, I would call it a panel probably, the yeah. electrical panel or electrical power panel, power panel. Panel would be in there somewhere, or circuit breaker. Yes, 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 but this is one for the entire, I think, no, for all the big. Yeah, it depends. Depends where you are. Every house will have something yes. like this, and usually in an apartment complex, yes. you'll have one that is for either several apartments or maybe if it's a small apartment complex, yeah. they'll just have one for the whole yes. thing. All right. Because I think every apartment has a his rules. So, yeah. <laughs> one uh, can I say uh, no, <laughs> for the apartment. Every apartment can the uh, one for, mm -hmm. and there is a common one for all the apartment. No, I, I think Italy is in, in this way. I don't know. Frequently, the that's how country, it is. If, if it is the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because there is one specific in the apartment, no? Yes. Well, there's, sometimes there's one for the whole complex, but frequently there will be more than one that control. So there might be like one for f every four apartments. So yes. if, you're, if you live uh, in a yes, big yes. complex, or maybe one for every floor of the apartment complex. Yes, yes, yes. Depends. It depends where you live. Yeah. All right. Anna Carolina, can you tell us about the second picture, this one here? What are we looking at? What is it for? It's a tap or a faucet. A faucet, yeah. It's a faucet, and what comes out of it is the tap water. Awesome. Okay. I, I, I thought we could call it a tap as well. That's not very common. I think I wouldn't say that you can't call it that. I've just 
never really heard it called that. Could be one of those differences between British English and American English. I would always call this a faucet, and what comes out is tap water, but you, you probably could call the whole thing a tap if you wanted. I would know what you were talking about if you said, if you said that. I would probably know what you were talking about, as long as there's context clues. And since that one was kind of short, Ana Carolina, do this one as well. What's this other picture? Not the one that, this one's not loading. I don't know why. We'll forget it. What about this one? What's this? Um, I don't know. Oh, my gosh. I don't know the name. Uh, what what do you use it for? I don't know as well. All uh, right. Does anyone else know? A bell? A doorbell? Yes, a exactly. A doorbell. Mm -hmm. Doorbell. Doorbell. Mm -hmm. well, and sometimes also called chime. Huh? It's also called chime. Yeah, some people will call it a chime as well. Mm -hmm. mm. Excellent pointer. Sometimes instead of having a doorbell, they'll have something else on their door that's good for, this is going to give it away, but it's good for knocking. They'll have like a door knocker. That's another option. All but right. Yes, it's mechanic, mechanic. Yeah, it's exactly. <laughs> Mechanical instead of electrical. <laughs> All right, Ken, will you tell us about Can this picture here? What are we looking at? What's that called? Doorknob. Yeah, doorknob, for sure. What's the difference? Actually, I, I don't, I'm not sure if this is already a question down here. No. What is the difference between a doorknob and a door handle, Ken? A door handle shape is different. Mm -hmm. Doorknob is like this like uh, round uh, shape. And maybe uh -huh. door handle is uh, maybe handle is not <laughs> is not round like this. So if sure. it's not round, what does it look like? Uh, kind of bit long. How can I say long <laughs> something long bar or something bar like shape? Yeah, usually it's like a long bar. You might even say it's L shaped. It comes out of the door and then turns. Cool. And the I think the picture here that's not loading properly is a picture of um, when you have pets, sometimes there's a place where the pets can go in and out of the house on their own. Ken, do you have any idea what we call that? Uh, door, small door for pets, you mean? Yeah, small door uh, for pets. <laughs> Cat door or a dog door, <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, frequently it's called a doggy door, even if it's not for no. dogs. I mean, usually the doggy doors are for dogs, but if you have a cat that uses your doggy door, we still probably would call it a doggy door, even though it's the cat door, or, you know, it would probably be more specific, <laughs> but... Yes. We have a, one at my house. I don't even know what it was used for. It's it's a doggy door, but it's so small. It looks like it's for a rabbit. Like it looks like it's for the tiniest dog. <laughs> and we actually have a very large dog. So every once in a while, if he wants to, if he's outside and he wants to come inside, he'll just stick his nose through the door, <laughs> and he'll just sit there with his nose halfway in the house. So he, so you're like, you know, you can see him, and he's like, hey, I'm here. Bring me inside. <laughs> Um, all right. Yeah. Comments or questions on any of the vocab we've gone over so far? Okay. Mm. Then let's. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, could you uh, repeat the difference between the door knob and, and door handle? Sure thing. Let's have Gregor do it for us. What's the difference between a door knob and a door handle? Um, like it was said, uh, the difference is uh, in the shape. It's one of them. It's more like um, in the shape of the circle, and the second one is just like um, in the shape of the letter L. Mhm. Mm exactly. Does that clear it up for you, Ana Carolina? The door knob is always round. It's a sphere, so you have to like grip it and turn. And the door knob, you could open a door, no uh, sorry, not a door knob. You could open a door handle with your elbow even, which actually I think makes them super useful because if your arms are full of groceries, you can hit that door handle with your foot, with your elbow, with another part of your body. But the door knob, you always have to grab and turn because you need some friction to hold on to it. Mm. All right. Any other questions? The door knob is a round one. Not the knob is the round one, yes. 
Mm -hmm. Iron Man is uh, a long uh, uh, handle, long that you have to put down and in order to turn in order to open. Uh huh. Is it? Yeah. All right, Vincenzo, yeah. can you tell us where in the house we might find a hinge? Where would we find a hinge? Yes, I don't know the. <laughs> I don't know what is a hinge. At least it. <laughs> All right. Anyone else know what a hinge is or where we might find it in a house? In the doors. Yeah. What part of the door? Hinge. Yeah. What part of the door? Ah, I don't know. I know the part of it where um, that bird the door. At in uh, one side, or uh, have many hinges, no? Could be two or three hinges in order and what's to the rotate, of these things? rotate the door, to open the door, the port, the yeah. rotates. Huh? Yes. Yeah, it does the yes, um, the, the turning the, or the opening of the, the door. It makes sure it moves the, properly. The most important of the door, no, I think. No. Yeah, yeah, definitely yeah, a critical part, element yes. of the door. Yeah. And you can also find them not just on like room doors, but also on cabinet doors or wardrobe doors or uh, even on your fridge door. Anything that turns in that way will have a hinge. Yeah. 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 All right. So we're going to go down, and this picture did not seem to want to load, but it's parts of a window. So we're going to just name some different parts of a window. Rebecca, can you think of what you a call window. the different parts of a window? A window? Yeah. Well, um, I would say the farm. Did I say that? The what? The farm. The farm? farm. Oh, the frame, the frame, oh, yes. Frame, sorry, frame. Yeah, the frame, and what part of the window is that? Where is it located? Uh, is uh, um, the uh, most away part of the window, you know, like, is uh, I, I, I can't explain it, sorry. <laughs> You're exactly right, it's the outside, it's like the wood area on the outside of outside, the yeah. edge of the window. Yeah. What else is there, mm. Rebecca? Then there are glasses. In the, it depends on the class of the window. The glasses could be small or big, you know, or one big or small ones, you know? Uh-huh. Yes. And then there's... Um, what else? Um, there's a door hand, door no window handle <laughs> to open the window. What's the name? Hand, handle, handle, handle. Handle for what part? Uh, well, uh, you need uh, to when you need to open the um, the window. Okay, uh, so maybe it has a handle. Or it doesn't always have a handle. It depends how your window opens. Sometimes a window will open like a door with hinges and everything, so you might have the handle yeah. of the window. Other times it'll uh, slide and there won't be a handle. But could uh, be. Yeah. Could be that there's a handle. Um, Ksenia, can you think of any other parts of the window? Like maybe the part of the window that's below and you might put like a picture frame on it or something. Window sill? Yeah, a window sill. Definitely. I think it's the main part of the window. Yeah, it's definitely an important part. Anything else you can think of? Any other parts of a window? Mm, I don't think so, but I can listen some echo from somewhere when while you are speaking. Yeah, I hear it a little bit as well. If everyone could keep themselves on mute. That would be perfect. And it, do you guys still hear it? I'm hoping it's over. Okay. No, it's okay. Awesome. So I think we have most of 
parts of the window named. The only other thing I can think of is sometimes, not always, but sometimes a window will have something called a grill, which is like um, little divisions of the window. So you'll have a big piece of glass, and it'll be divided by some lines that go down or across. So it makes like a little cross over the window. There are some kind of rubber tied with the window. Um, yeah, there's, let me think, there, there's some, sometimes rubber to make the seal a little bit better. Yeah. Um, and I think you can call that weather stripping, or I know that there's a heavy duty kind that people, I'm not from a place that has a very severe winter, but in places that do have a severe winter, I know they use weather stripping on the edges of a window to keep out the cold, to make sure it's like a really good seal. All right. Um, OK. So the next question, let's go down to Gregor. If you don't want light coming through your window, oh, where? Sorry. If you don't want white light coming through your window, what might you use to stop that light from getting through? Uh, drapes and... Okay, blinds. drapes, for sure. Uh, what? Uh, blinds. Blinds, drapes, yes. Anything else you can think of? No, not really. I mean, that's all. All right. Uh, Gonzalo, anything else aside from blinds and drapes? Uh, shutter. Shutters, yeah. What are shutters like in comparison to the other things we mentioned? Shutters um, are more. I, I I don't know how to explain, but like, is the one that you can um, pull up and down. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Yes. Yes. So. You're definitely close. Is there anything else Anything else that you think would be good for closing the light off of a window? Curtains. Could I ask the expression to say... Curtains. Oh, man. We have a lot of people talking. Um, someone had a question. Was it Rebecca? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, for the question when you know about the blink, blind, you know, or the shutter, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, and uh, I asking someone, for, for example, would you mind... Is um uh, get, getting up the the shuttle or guys the shuttle? How is the expression for that? So it depends. Blinds are the kind of thing that you can roll up or down. As are um, shades usually. Shutters are usually made of wood and they come with like little panels that you can move up and down. But it's not the same thing. So. I'm going to unscreen Imagine share for ones, a second. Um, we are traveling in a train, you know? So, because I had that uh, experience and I couldn't say in that moment, you know, because I didn't know. So, uh, in front of me, there were a person, there, wo there were some people. So, I, I wanted to ask, would you mind if I, and in that moment, I stopped talking because I didn't know, you know? Um, a sweet, um, get up the, um, you know, the blinds. The curtains? Yeah, yeah. but not really curtains. It was um, a steady, a steady and hard, you know, no, no made of wood. Sorry, made of cl uh, clothes. Yeah, curtains. Curtains, no. Curtains. Yeah. So. Yeah. Stores? For uh, stores. Huh? Stores? You know stores? Like a store where you buy something? Yeah, no, I don't know the name. Maybe store and um, storage. St yeah, store, store, store. Storage. No. No. Where? They have store. a place where you store something. No, no, no. It's not the name. No, don't worry. Uh, keep going. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So we have blinds, drapes, shutters, curtains, and shades. The thing that's mostly on trains is curtains. So it's a piece of cloth, and they move side to side like this, usually sometimes up and down, but pretty much al almost always side to side. And 
Drapes are very similar, but drapes are fancier and they're usually longer. So if it's like a casual sort of version, usually found in a kitchen or on a train, it's curtains. If it's drapes, it'll be something made of like a really nice material and that would usually be in a living room or a place that's a little fancier where you might have guests. Um, shutters are wood and they have these panels and a bar that goes like this and when you move the bar up they rotate like this uh -huh. so you can uh, you can change the amount of light that's getting in and also from where it's coming so if the sun is like right at that part you can move it so that you don't get the sun but you're still getting some light uh -huh. um, Thank you. blinds are something that you roll up and down so usually they'll have creases so that you can pull a string and they go up and shades are in my opinion the same thing shades are kind of just a, another general term for it sometimes it'll also have panels like metal strips and it's the same concept where you pull a string and they'll go up they'll go down or sometimes they'll rotate like that but they're made of metal so shutters are wood and then blinds and shades will be made of metal or um, sometimes a cheap kind of fabric or something. And I put all of these words in the Verbling chat box. I'm going to copy paste them into the other chat box as well. Thank you, yeah. It's nice. All right. Any questions on those? We've got a lot of different words for that. No other questions? Okay, so we only have a few minutes left and I have another class coming up, but let's do just a little bit more. Let's name some kitchen appliances. There's a whole list of kitchen appliances on our notes and there's lots of pictures too. So if you guys look over that and you have some questions or you can't really identify which is which because there's some vocabulary and then there's the pictures and it's kind of like a matching thing. If you guys have trouble with that, let me know on the Verbling inbox. I'm happy to answer any questions on these classes. So just send me a message that says, what is this thing? Or, um, or you can ask me in the next class. That's totally fine too. But let's name some kitchen appliances really quick before we go. Everyone try and get one or two kitchen appliances. I'm going to start on the left this time with Ken. Give me one or two kitchen appliances. Okay, blender and rice cooker. Awesome. Okay. How about Ana Carolina? Kitchen appliances. Two kitchen appliances. Mixer and waffle machine. Ooh, yes. Love waffle makers. All right, Edson, two kitchen appliances. Uh, watching machine and draw machine and uh, let's see, piece of for uh, stove. The stove, yeah, stove yeah. and washing machine, awesome. Washing machine. Eduardo, more kitchen appliances. Oops, Eduardo's gone. Gonzalo, more kitchen appliances? Um, a pan. Okay. The Not stove. necessarily an appliance, but it is important to a kitchen for sure. And the stove is f oh, definitely okay. an appliance. appliance like um, um, electric devices? Yeah. Like where oh, okay. would you make toast? Okay, okay. Yeah, the toast. <laughs> of course. And um, yeah, so. Anything else? Oh, you want another one? If you can think of any. Um, those things like to make uh, smoothies. Yeah, a blender or a, blender. a food yeah. processor sometimes. Yeah, a blender, a blender. All right, Gregor, more kitchen appliances. A uh, chopping block and kettle. <laughs> Yeah, a kettle. That's a good one for making tea. Okay, Ksenia, kitchen appliances? Fridge, sink. Fridge, sink. yes. And sink, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Rebecca, kitchen appliances? What I say? A uh, coffee machine and yeah. microwave. Perfect. 
And Vincenzo, could any write, other? Could you write, please, the, the that word, appliances? Yeah. Thank you. I'm, I try to look for, but I don't know how to spell it. Good point. Vincenzo, any other kitchen appliances before we have to go? Thank you. I don't hear you, Vincenzo. You're muted. Okay. All right, guys, thanks for coming, and I hope to see you again soon. My next class is on movies if you want to join and talk about them. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye.